an academy schooling group has proposed plans to alter the admissions criteria for one of its Rochester schools. FPTA Academies has put forward an addition to the oversubscription criteria for the Thomas Avelyn School. The proposed change would mean that students who went to one of the academy's primary schools would be prioritised over a student who lived within the catchment area. Councillor Alex Patterson has raised concerns about the significant impact such change could have on the people in his Rochester West Ward. The impact of that small change could actually be huge, particularly for people who live uh, slightly further from the school in the furthest reaches of my ward and the furthest reaches of Rochester East and Rochester South. And that means that regardless of how close they are to the school, priority will be given to pupils who have attended one of the primary schools in the same academy chain. It's actually a natural consequence of a move towards treating schools like businesses. I don't think that's appropriate at all. The school's current oversubscription prioritises looked after children. This is followed by siblings, students who live in the access area of Bostol who do not have many other secondary school alternatives, and then those that meet the distance criteria. If the plan is approved, it could mean that students who attend the Warren Wood Primary School, which is just a three-minute walk away from the Thomas Avelyn School, could not be given a place as it does not come under the academy chain. A six-week consultation period was held from the 4th of December to the 28th of January, where members of the public could voice their opinion on the proposal. In a statement to us, Mr Jackson, the head teacher of the Thomas Avelyn School, said that all responses received during the consultation period have been collated and are currently being considered by the governing board. He said that although they have taken note of the concerns raised, they do not expect many additional students if the proposed amendment is approved. However, they do want students who are under the academy chain to have the opportunity to continue their education in an FPTA Academies Trust school. Councillor Patterson wrote a letter to the Governing Board during the consultation period and hopes the objection he and others have shown will be considered. It's really important that the people who are in charge of the Thomas Aveling School make the right decision on this issue. No decision has been made yet on this proposed criteria change, but if approved it could have a big impact on some Rochester residents as early as September next year. Chloe Rose for Voice of Kent.